And now it's time for the catch, which takes you around the Great Lakes to hear from reporters about the issues they're covering. A new study shows concerning levels of PFAS in fish harvested from rivers and lakes across the United States, including the Great Lakes. Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reporter Laura Schulte has the details. A group of researchers from the Environmental Working Group and Duke University got together and they analyzed a lot of data that was available from federal agencies regarding um, PFAS in fish tissue um, harvested from freshwater lakes, uh, streams, across the country. PFAS is an acronym for a family of chemical compounds that have been widely used for decades in waterproof and stain resistant products and foam used to fight aircraft fires. And these chemicals are an issue um, specifically for humans because they accumulate, bioaccumulate in our body over time. Um, and the chemicals um, have been linked to types of kidney and testicular cancers, lower birth weights, harm to immune and reproductive systems, altered hormone regulation, altered thyroid hormones, as well as high blood pressure. The researchers analyzed hundreds of fish fillets collected by the EPA between 2013 and 2015. Fish with PFAS were found in all 48 contiguous states, and PFAS levels in wild-caught fish were substantially higher than those in commercially raised fish. Consuming fish, you know, once a month, um, 12 times a year, can increase, you know, the amount of PFAS that are accumulating within your body um, as, you, as you take those fish in. And this is really important to know about because we, you know, have always looked at PFAS and drinking water being the largest risk to human consumption with these chemicals, uh, but now we're finding that it is accumulating in our food and therefore, you know, accumulating in our body. All of the 152 fish harvested from the Great Lakes had detectable levels of PFAS. And one salmon harvested from Lake Michigan near Milwaukee in 2010 showed 19,000 parts per trillion of the chemical PFOS. To give some perspective, the EPA released guidance that humans shouldn't consume more than 0 0.02 parts per trillion of the chemical compounds. For communities with strong ties to fishing, this is going to have a huge effect. This is going to limit the amount of times a year that they can consume the fish um, you know, that they, that they rely on for sustenance. At Great Lakes Now, we aim to cover the Great Lakes region and the people who live here, like you. Please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our newsletter at greatlakesnow.org.